Tenderloin. What is a Tenderloin all about? And what does it have to do with transgender people? Anything? We have a very special guest for you today. Honey Mahogany is gonna tell you all about it. If you were disabled, you could be fined or jailed for being seen in public. Now in the Tenderloin, this neighborhood was special because this was basically a containment zone. The police allowed crime to happen in here and it was called the Tenderloin because they could make a profit of it. And this was the juiciest cut. They could make their money harassing people, harassing businesses, and taking money from them in order for them to continue doing illegal things. They allowed, well, you know, they allowed sex work to happen here. They allowed drug dealing to happen here. And they also allowed queer and trans people to be seen in public here at the time. Now, that was just at their pleasure. So what happened here at Compton's Cafeteria? A queen was minding her own business, having a cup of coffee, and a cop came in, started throwing his weight around, and this queen had enough, and she decided that she was gonna throw her coffee in his face. And that started the Compton's Cafeteria riots, which was the first documented uprising of queer and trans people and people of color anywhere in the country three years before Stonewall right here in 1966. Now that legacy of queerness and transness and pride and standing up for our rights continues today. We are now standing in the officially recognized Transgender Cultural District. The first of its kind in the world, established by three black trans women and whose work is being continued by many diverse trans people here today. I see Aubrey and Jupiter representing for the Trans District here today. Let's hear it for Aubrey and Jupiter. They are doing such excellent work. Let me tell you a little bit about the work of the Trans District. The Trans District is housing people in San Francisco, okay? They are housing trans people in San Francisco. They are providing job opportunities for people in San Francisco. They are creating job entrepreneurship programs for our community, giving them money and training on how to open their own businesses here in San Francisco. So I want you all to make sure that you support the Transgender Cultural District. It is doing incredible work every day for our community. And here's the other thing that I want you all to do. I want you all to be the change that you want to see in this world. Be the 
the change you want to see in this world. Make it happen. I believe in you. You are beautiful. You are worthy. And you can make a difference.